thank you so much for being with us. The community is mourning the loss of a Hendricks County deputy killed in the line of duty. Yeah, deputy Fred Fissler died after coming into contact with a downed power line at the, the scene of a crash. News 8's Kat Sandoval is live at the sheriff's office where people are paying their respects tonight. Kat. It is a sad day here at Hendricks County. The as the community mourns the deputy Fred Fischler and as some loved ones call him Freddie. We got a chance to take a look at this memorial right behind me. Flowers are strewn out on top of the vehicle, including stuffed animals. And from what we heard earlier today, they had mentioned that Freddie was the life of the party. He was a goofball. And we got a chance to speak to a family friend. Here he is. The goal was to become a, a cop to help the community. He always wanted to help and keep uh, bad things happening to people. Deputy Fred Fischler gave his life trying to help a community member late Monday night. Fischler responded to a car crash near Plainfield, just north of State Road 267. What he did was go to a scene of an accident with the bravery of not knowing what he's getting into and for him to stand back and, and take on that challenge, that's just Fred. Police say a car hit a utility pole, causing power lines to fall. One of those lines electrocuted Fischler when he went to help the driver. Our heart is broken for the Fischler family, for our department family, and for our community family. Fischler leaves behind a wife, Maddie, and two children. His family friend says they are ages seven years and seven months. A memorial is already in place at the sheriff's department. Stephanie Spencer drove 30 minutes away to get here. She didn't know Fischler, but she came to pay her respect. These people put their, you know, put their life on the line for you every single day. Like, it, it would be nice for them to get the same respect that they give you. His family friend, Tom, remembers him as the pride of Cloverdale, who had the heart to win. He was always the laugh of the party, too. He was one of those joyful type of guys. Now, the passenger of that other vehicle is currently in serious but stable condition in Eskenazi Hospital. And also for anyone else that would like to pay the respect, the memorial is right here in the Hendricks Sheriff's Office. Um, and I'm Kat Sandoval for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.